By the way, went on Thomas, those buffers don't look very safe to me. The last load. Suddenly, Percy found that he couldn't stop. The buffers didn't stop him either. Oh, wailed Percy, help! The buffers were broken and Percy was wheel deep in coal. It was time for Thomas to leave. He had seen everything. I can do that whenever I like. Every wise engine knows that you cannot trust trucks. Go on, go on, they yelled, and brought Percy's driver and fireman off the footplate. Oh, said Percy, sliding past the board. Percy was frantic. That's enough. Percy was sunk. You are a very disobedient engine. The trucks drive. We can't. We won't. Don't watch the pictures. Diesel lost patience. He roared. Gave a great heave. The trucks can fall. The brake snap and the gear jammed in the sleepers. <laughs> Chuckle duck. Diesel recovered and tried to push the trucks back, but they wouldn't move. Duck ran quietly round to collect the other trucks. Thank you for arranging these, Diesel. I where a barber had set up shop. He was shaving a customer. Rails were slippery. He couldn't stop in time. Steam. I can't do it. I can't do it. Lay it to me. Shouted Douglas. God was anxious. Go steady. The van's breaking. The van was in peace and safe. He tried to wee, but he couldn't. He tried to stop. But he couldn't. He just kept rolling along. He didn't dare look at what was coming next. There was the station master's house. The station master was about to have breakfast. Horrors! cried Thomas and shut his eyes. The brake van was in smithereens. Percy's driver and fireman. On the way, the weather changed. Wind and rain buffeted him. His sanding gear failed, and his fireman rode in front, dropping sand on the rails by hand. Suddenly, Edward's wheels slipped fiercely. With a shrieking crack, something broke. The crew inspected the damage. Repairs took some time. One of your crank pins broke, Edward, said his driver. We've taken your side rods off. Percy broke the car to smithereen from. A crate of treacle was upset all over Percy. Thomas collected the tree safely, but large snowdrifts lay ahead. I mustn't 